Welcome to my channel once again, a place where we grow by sharing our experiences, having conversations that will help us to make guided decisions when we fall into such circumstances. And so our topic for discussion today is how some men, mark my words, some men, because others don't do it, how some men exploit their women financially. Now there are some who are asking me, really? Can men exploit their women financially? Others are saying, talk about it. It has happened to me. Now, men, some men can exploit their women financially. And by the time the women get to know they are depressed, if they are married, the marriage are falling. If they are dating, they, they are no longer enjoying the relationship. They will do anything to make sure that they get that last coin from you. What are the examples of uh, things that men do, those men who exploit their women financially? I once had a lady who was dating a man, and uh, they had dated for more than four years. But the marriage thing would be postponed. The man would say, oh, when we make some money, we, we will be okay. And this lady was like, no, I, we have money. I can sustain both of us until you get a good job. Of course, the man was working, but the woman had more money than the man. And so she would convince this man, but the man was not ready for marriage. But during that time, this woman took care of the man's bills, mm -hmm. paid his rent, bought him clothes occasionally, and this lady had a car, so she surrendered the car to the man. And the man would take this car with a full tank, but he will only return this car to her when it is empty for her to feed again. And guess what? She never even took a ride with this man. For some reason, he never wanted her to sit, he never wanted her to sit beside him whenever he was driving this car. And if I were the one, it would raise my suspicion that this man is probably dating someone else, doesn't want to be seen with me. Okay, that's one scenario. Takes your car, you fuel it, you take him shopping in the hope that he's going to marry you and you will grow together. That is one. Another scenario is that when there is a need or when there is a need to buy property and you both have different properties listed under your names, this man will convince the woman to sell their own property so that they can purchase a new property. That property that has been in your name, he will convince you to sell it so that you buy a new, a new, a new property. Maybe you had a house before you got married. And now that you're married, somehow he wants to convince you to sell that house which is in your maiden name so that you can buy another property which can be in both your names or in his own name. He will ask you to support him. But the basic intention is to make sure that your property is sold and you do not have anything to rely on for personal income. Now that's very dangerous. Number three, they send children to school, out of school, and the children come back home for fees. Madam Champion, Madam, know it all, Madam, have money. Don't hurry to be the one to take the children to school. Don't hurry to be the one to buy the food for the children. Without informing their father, that is their father. But guess what? You want to send them to school. You want to send them uh, to buy their clothes. You want to feed them. You want to buy their beds. You want to do practically everything without consulting. That is not love. Give their father an opportunity. Now, if you continue doing those things on your own, and he gets used to it, and the children get used to it, no wonder it is you they tell that they, are, they have sent them for fees. No one it is you they talk, they talk to when they have no clothes. No one it is you they tell when there is uh, no money for, for trips. No one it is you they tell. Learn to tell their father. Once you get used to doing all these things, he's going to keep quiet. 
and he will exploit you. You will pay the children's fees, you will pay the, buy their beds, you will buy their clothes, you will buy their food, because the day there is no food, he will stay away, and he will come back at the time of sleeping. And then he will eat what you left. Don't allow that exploitation, they are his children. Tell the children your daddy will pay your fees, your daddy will buy you the clothes. If there is anything, tell your daddy. But that doesn't exempt you from helping it is stopping you from being exploited. There is no bulb in the house, you're hurrying to buy the bulb. And he sees you buying the bulb and he keeps quiet. If he's giving you a lift, he will ask you to put the fuel in the car. That is exploitation. Can't a man drive his wife and fuel her car and take the car to the garage? Personally, I drive the car when it is okay. When it has issues, it is my husband. Am I exploiting him? No. It is his responsibility to take care of his beautiful wife. Hello. He'll take my car to the garage. What happens to his car when it has issues? If I have the money, I will contribute. I will say, oh, my husband, you're going to the garage. I have some money here. But he will never exploit me. He will not send me to the garage. He will not use my money to, to do things that I'm not benefiting from. Men, stop exploiting your wife financially, your girlfriends, your fiancé. Stop exploiting them financially. What other areas <clears throat> do they exploit you financially again? Apart from failing to take care of the children and you, asking you to sell your, your property. They are constantly, men who exploit their wives, they are constantly broke. Every time they're telling you, oh, I don't have money, I'm not studying well financially, and uh, they will be very quick to borrow from you, and then they will not pay back. For some reason, they are constantly broke. But guess what? When they are, their relatives have a need, they will show up as champion. They will show up to buy Christmas gifts for their people. They will show up to buy pieces of land in their village. They will show up to take their people to the hospital. But for you, no. When such a scenario comes up, then you're being exploited financially. He doesn't take care of you. He doesn't take care of the children. He borrows from you. He doesn't return. You even have to take care of him. But he takes care of his own people. What do you do? When you have such a man, number one, sit down and have an honest conversation about how you feel. Don't be in a hurry to go and tell others how you manage the home, how it is you who is, you know, you, you're standing in the home and doing everything by yourself. Talk to him, have an honest conversation and share with him how you feel when you are shouldering these things alone. Now, if you find you cannot do it, then involve your best man, your matron, his closest friend to talk about it. Have an honest conversation and come up with a solution on how you both can support each other as a couple. Number two, don't do anything that you feel you are being exploited about. If he's not taking care of the children and you have had a conversation and he has not changed then, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that one. But I would imagine he doesn't want anything to do with me. He doesn't want anything to do with me if he cannot feed his children, if he cannot close them, if he cannot pay their fees. I mean, I would rather forget that I am married and start doing it without complaining. Because if you continue thinking that... Uh, you're married, he must do it, and you're grumbling, even God is not happy with you. So if you have talked and he has refused, be honest and tell the children, ask daddy, and if he says he doesn't have, be honest and tell the children, your daddy has refused completely to pay for you, to clothe you, to feed you, and so let's trust God to help me to do it. Pray with the children, God will give you the grace to do it. And so you don't grumble about it. 
If he borrows money, that is number three, if he borrows money from you and he cannot refund that money one time, two times, three times, then stop. Stop lending him money. Stop lending him money. Uh, find something that you can do because the reason he's exploiting you, he has things he's doing, and for you, you have money and you're just seated there. Find something that you can do. Commit your money so that you don't have redundant cash. You don't have redundant cash. Number four, if you are not yet married and he's exploiting you before you are married, please don't go ahead to marry that man. He doesn't deserve you. When you get married to him, it is going to be worse. So don't marry him. Leave him. Men are the providers in the home. Women are only supporters. The weak sex, the one who are supposed to be taken care of, but to give support. So if he's exploiting you before you get married, please don't go ahead to marry him because your life is going to be hell. Wait upon the Lord and marry the right person. Who knows the manly responsibilities of a husband? Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Subscribe if it is your first time or you have not subscribed before. Like and share this video. Till we meet again, bye-bye.